Um, I'm here to talk to you today about a social media, which involves uh, conversation, conversation. Um, broadcasting on radio uh, involves a lot of conversation. Uh, it could be audio through music, music communicating a message to the listener. But in order to enjoy a radio broadcast, you have to have what, uh, what, what ability? listening ability and then with other mediums of broadcasting like television you need to be able to do what to enjoy that yeah. sight well the nice thing about social media is that it involves both of those uh, sensory abilities and very much enhanced abilities um, through the pictures that we see that are communicating words. I've heard it said that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I did a little research and I found out a picture is worth more than that. It's worth about 10,000. And then with audio, with us being able to integrate and share music messages and other conversations, chats through video technology, through social media, we now have an internetwork that allows us to broadcast in a different way. And for me, social media is broadcasting. It's broadcasting conversations through a, a, a plethora of dynamics, audio, visually, um, different technological applications that allow us to do different things, but it mostly really involves chiefly those two senses. And so I wanted to start out today talking to you about conversation because what you're going to need to know um, as broadcasting students, social media has now become chiefly the way that the world communicates, the way they broadcast. And the word broadcast is a word that comes from another word that means to scatter seeds around. And so for me to be able to do my job as a social, certified social media professional, everything I do I look at as planting seeds with technology through a picture. I'm throwing a little picture out there to communicate something that's worth those 10,000 words or more. Or if I'm doing an audio uh, broadcast of a conversation like I'm doing here right now, I'm recording so that those that couldn't physically be present here, there might be someone in China that wants to learn and sit in on a conversation with the Bond Girl. I'm able to use some technology, and I'll have you take a look. I've got my iPad here, and I have my little radio station right here in front of me. This is the, the wonder and the fun for me of being able to do my job uh, using the medium of social media professionally and having fun doing it. So, um, conversation. I'm recording live a conversation. I went to dictionary.com on the web and I looked up the definition of conversation, which is basically defined as something. It's a noun. It's, a, it's an informal interchange of thoughts, information that is spoken, word, oral communication between persons, talk, intimate conversations even, or even describing an ability to be able to talk with others. Communication forms. Social media, what I want you to leave here, if you remember nothing else today, is one word. Tracy Bond Girl told you that social media is primarily a conversation. conversation. And through various dynamics, I get people to um, Let's say they want to know, okay, I don't know anything about social media. Who can I go to to help me learn about this whole conversation thing on the web? How do I get started? So if I want them to be a, able to even get to the point where we can have a conversation about me helping them in my profession, I have a website. I can't physically talk to them through the website. Not yet. I haven't integrated that technology, although I can. I need to have something visually that talks for me. So I have a very animated, engaging uh, website. Do you think, would, does this look interesting to you? Yes. Does it make you want to look more and, and see, what is all this? We got a cameraman up here. We've got 
different uh, iPod, the Droid. We got the Blackberry. Looks like some things that you use to communicate. We've got the iPad back here. We've got some conversations on all of these devices in this picture. Then I've got a gun over here. That's communicating something. I'm the Bond girl. So what I did was, when people think Bond girl, it'll paint a picture in their mind of something that they may be acquainted with through um, advertising. Advertisers use TV and radio and magazine media to broadcast communications about how to buy their product. So if they're familiar with the film, how many saw the Bond film recently? Skyfall. That paints images in their mind. The Bond guy. Who was, who was Bond? Okay, but who was he? What did he do? What was the movie about? He's an agent. So that would make you think, I'm a what? Hey. And not only that, what kind of agent was he? And he was considered like a spy, but he was a good spy. And so when people see my name, it's going to paint an image in their mind. It's going to make them think, gee, what, what's this whole Bond Girl thing about? But I've got guns. I've got armor. I'm an agent, but I'm shooting something. I'm shooting with authority. I'm shooting my social media messages. I am broadcasting them to reach a target. That's what you use a, a, a weapon for. So the secret part of it is because for business purposes, you might want to know that companies can learn what other companies are doing or their customers are doing to know how to develop products, services to get them to buy. So social media technology allows you to kind of really listen in on some conversations if you're a part of what? Networks, social networks. How many of you all on Facebook? I probably don't even have to ask. Has everybody here got their Facebook, uh, their Twitter account, these different groupings? Well, companies expect that you would do that. They set up as well. And they have different technologies, kind of like what I use here, to watch the kinds of conversations you're having on social media. And I have learned how to do that. I got a certificate to learn how to use software to listen in Remember listening to people's conversations. And if enough people are talking about a product or something that happened on the news or the big Trayvon Martin thing, then we begin to get clues to different things about those people, their interests. We call that culture. Social media is also a culture. Cultures are specific characteristics unique to a group of people and their way of doing things. And so, for business purposes, and I'm going to get some questions from, from you all to see if this is something you think you might like to go into professionally. Um, a tool like this will help you become more efficient at, at what you do because you'll be paying attention and using social media, actively using your eye senses and your ear senses, but what I want you to do is think now in terms of what I put out here and what I hear people say. Think in terms of it as a conversation. And through that conversation, what information, what details do you want to extract to do what it is that you're trying to do in your business. What I do with that information in my business every day is find a way to extract it. I listen. I, in, I involve myself in the conversations. I talk to people because how about it takes what? Two people to have a conversation, doesn't it? So you can't just be on social media and just, you know, watching people talk, 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 and never feel like you need have something that you want to respond to.